Victims are breathing a sigh of relief tonight after learning the bolt of the most rapists will stay locked up just a little bit longer. Our tennis reporter Mackenzie Maynard talked to a survivor who is happy, at least for now. We've been hopeful in the past, but this is actually a court saying, wait a minute, <laughs> let's take a look at this. As a survivor, Taylor doesn't want to see the day Alvin Quarles is released, but back in June, that day looked closer than ever before. I was not expecting to have any concerns at all about him until the year 2039 when he would be released. In June 2019, a judge approved the release of Quarles. Up until this week, things are moving forward as the search for a place to release him in San Diego County continued. Monday afternoon, Taylor got a call saying everything had stopped. The district attorney filed for a writ. It's similar to an appeal. The California Appeals Court issued a stay, which means all progress towards finding Quarles a location has has stopped and cannot continue again until the courts resolve it. It did seem that we had a situation where the evidence seemed to be so compelling that uh, the wrong decision had been made. In the meantime, Quarles will stay at the Coalinga State Hospital getting treatment through a program for sexually violent predators. Reporting, Mackenzie Maynard, 10 News. The next scheduled hearing in the lower court is still set for early December, but because of the stay, the Superior Court cannot release him until a decision is made.